Well, I got a special treat for you guys. If you're still watching the video, I know you like to not watch these. This is a review of my favorite scary movie for Halloween, The Ring from 2002. Yes, I realize this is a remake. Yes, I realize I am Mr. I don't do remakes. I saw this before the Japanese original, before there was any buzz, before anybody knew what the hell this was. Some friends called me up and said, hey, we wanna go to the movie. Oh, I, yeah, well, let's go see Red Dragon. I, I suggest, hey, that's new. Okay, fine, let's go. They changed their mind when we get there. Hey, let's see The Ring instead. Oh, come on, that looks dumb. Yeah, we watched The Ring. Starts off, I'm like, oh, what's with these two bad actress chicks? What are they doing here? Talking about this videotapes kills you. And then shit got real. If you haven't watched this before, I, I recommend skipping forward, like maybe past the first chapter on the DVD. So you just bypass the girls at the beginning and you start watching. And um, keep in mind that everything that happens there is done scarier later in the movie. So there maybe is a bit of a surprise element if you want to hold out that way. So skip the first chapter on the DVD slash Blu-ray. And you just kind of join in where Naomi Watts is uh, talking on this phone, her kids drawing some picture in school. And he's kind of being held after school, it looks like. They're gonna have a talk to the teacher. Oh, hey, shit, you do. Oh, hey, sorry, you didn't realize I was in the classroom. Naomi Watts is so good in this movie. She should have got some Oscar attention, but you know the Oscar does this crap. She gets Oscar attention for a lot of other stuff, but she was so effective and so everything you could ask for in a lead in this movie. Oh, she's a strong, independent woman journalist. Well, this is before we really needed that to be a thing to sell a movie. I think you can watch this movie even if you are the most minimist asshole there is or what have you. She picks up her kid. Uh, is it Aiden, right? Teacher says, hey, what's, what's with these pictures? Well, his best friend died. He was really close to his cousin. Oh, what's, what's the... I, these pictures, he started drawing this stuff a week ago. She died three days ago. What, that's not her, you know? It's like, who's the buried chick, you know? They go to the funeral. People are like, well, what? She must have been doing drugs. Why else would a 16-year-old girl's heart suddenly stop? It's drugs, I tell you. Over here, some kids. Eh, it's hard to say kids here. I mean, they look like adults to me. Two really smoking hot babes. One of them was in the three Hangover movies. Super crazy hot. Another one I don't even recognize, but she's fine. They're hanging out with the lanky kid from the OC, Mr. Rachel Bilson. Oh no, wait, they're not like... No, he married Leighton Meester. Yeah, that's right. Adam Brody, that's it, right? So, he tells her the story, oh hey, she watched that videotape, another one that kills you after you watch it. What happened to her boyfriend? She died too. Yeah, he jumped. Oh, well, that's crazy shit. Now our journalist is kind of interested. Like, hey, what, what is this stuff about? Well, where were they? Well, they were filming some, uh, uh, f some VHS tape in the, in the cab, and they got bad reception, but there was, but what they ended up recording instead was some weird demented tape. You watch it, you get a phone call, it says seven days, and that's how long you have to live, and you start living the imagery from from the tape and kind of maybe a little too coincidental in some places um rachel that's Naomi watts her son you know he's a weird kid calls his mom rachel right like people like bart calls homer anyways uh she goes to the cabin finds the cabin and manages to find the tape they watched What'd they do, return the tape afterwards to the checkout desk? They're like, oh, hey, we, be we better make sure we return this. Well, we record the tape ourselves, but we returned it. Or we left it here and we didn't pay the rent. I, I, I'm not really sure of the logistics of this, but okay. Creepy ass imagery. I mean, the sun comes out over this, the sun's setting and it lights up this tree. It's like maple leaves catch fire, it looks like. Rachel watches the tape and your heart just sinks. Like, what did I just see? I mean, you really experience this through her eyes. And 
you get her reaction shots and all this. It's it's a gruesome ass tape, a lot of weird edits. Then she gets a phone call seven days, and it's like, oh shit, this is real. Notice it. Notice that the girl couldn't take pictures of herself. Faces were getting ex like crossed out with pen. It was a bizarre scene, right? Well, and uh, Rachel uh, heads back over to Seattle, takes some pictures of herself. She, it, her pictures always turn out weird. Has her uh, ex-boyfriend, the baby daddy of Aiden, his name's Noah, Martin Henderson, comes by. And is like, hey, I want to show you the tape, okay? It's weird. All right, well, he's like, hold on, I'll watch it. No tape's going to kill me. And I have his very student film. Maybe it's scarier at night. I'm like, shit, sake, the thing was scary. This movie, when I saw it in theaters, I was so scared for months of telephones, TVs that were off even. I mean, everything. So, and I was like 17. And this is rated PG-13. What demented focus group, that's really the way they, they rate at the MPAA, they just have bring in like a focus group of people who are on the board. They watch a movie and then they decide, oh, it's PG-13. How demented were they? Well, it doesn't have a lot of guts and cussing or boobs, so now, now it's PG-13. God damn. Sick group. So, uh, they're trying to solve the mystery here. She's looking at the videotape, sees, a, sees a imagery of the horses in it. She's analyzing it. There is a, um, oh, what do they call it? A light tower. Is that what it is? Uh, you know, that the ships come by and then the light, lighthouse, that's it. She, she looks up where the lighthouse may be. You think she found the area. Stuff from the videotape's coming true. She walks under a ladder. There was a ladder feature. Things are scaring her. Coughing up hair and things. She's seemingly gets visited by the girl from the ring. She thinks that the mom is might be the key to this. It's like, how'd the mom die? How'd she get insane? Well, she had a daughter. She wasn't supposed to have a daughter. In the Japanese version, it's explained more, and maybe that ruins the mythos behind it. Oh, well, weird girl is enchanted by a sea demon, impregnates her, and this is the demon child for the movie. You know, have at that what you will, but uh, I kind of like having a little bit of the mystery about how is she a demon. Oh, she doesn't sleep. She's weird. She hurts people. How? She didn't mean to. But she does, whatever. The dad's still alive. He doesn't claim to have a daughter. He goes crazy. Uh, kills himself in front of Rachel. Pretty gruesome electrocution scene, actually. Oh, but they cut before it got real gruesome. PG-13, oh, good God. Leaving a little bit to the imagination, man. That's where things get, get gruesome for you. You don't see people get attacked by Samara, the ring girl. But you know they do. You see the bodies afterwards, right? So, things are stacking up. They're running out of time. They're investigating this. How, where else can we go from here? They're, they look in the attic of the barn because, oh, she didn't like the barn. The barn keeps her up. How's she talking through Aiden? Is, is Aiden maybe in some way powered like her? You know, you're kind of afraid of the kid, their son, thinking he may... He may become the, the ring chick or something. Like, you think maybe that's going to be the twist here. Well, um, they go up in the, up the ladder. They look around. I don't know why she has a TV up there. Who had Whose kid had a TV in 78? I don't know. I, I thought giving a kid their own TV set was very much a 90s type thing. Oh, now you're old enough you can have a TV in your room. And that also, there's like a musical carousel thing that was on. Who powered that up? That's something you need to wind up. Anyways, they, they take out this wallpaper. See, there's this burnt tree. They look for it. Hey, I've seen that tree before. Sun came over right when I watched the tape. Lit the thing up like it was on fire. It's in the tape and everything. Well, how fortunate that you came across that particular tree at that particular time so that it would look like the imagery in the movie. How very fortunate, Rachel. That's some plot coincidence right there.
they head back to that the woods turned out that they used to vacation there to look in the cabin you know is there some significance to their particular cabin knock some stuff out coincidentally they see that it all kind of pulls together in this pit in the floor where there was a well underneath they're running out of time they start axing away at it he's no is cutting away you know he's he's really he, he's really getting some affection for his old gal girlfriend here right wants to save her she's like no you gotta you gotta my oh by the way Aiden watched the tape it, she made a copy he watched the copy she threw it under the under a couch was angry but yeah you gotta I'm gonna be the mom that dies you're gonna be the parent you gotta man up you know figure this out now he comes so far acts away at this thing they're like looking down the well they're thinking hey what what, what happened what's down there she uh, they're starting to get attacked water seeping through things comes out of the TV phone whatever I mean it's it's all the stages of the attack here nuts or uh, nails are getting pulled up out of the surface TV comes crashing down on Rachel she falls into the well you think oh man it got her but she falls in finds the body of Samara gets a uh, psychic vision of how all this really went down and now they're going to bury the body they've solved the mystery they set her free she's not trapped in the well it's over the parents are, are friendly with each other everything's gonna be okay the next day you know Noah watched the videotape a day later he gets attacked Samara comes to climbing out of the tree TV good effects here some of the effects are better than I remembered I thought it looked kind of fake like oh okay, there's this part where they're heads to the island I, I glossed over this she pets this person's horse and then the horse goes mad oh well the horse can sense that you have the ring they sensed it before us they sense the danger the horse goes crazy breaks out of the out of the trailer on the ferry runs across the boat and, and then falls to its death and I thought, well, that looked kind of cheesy in parts. In some parts you can see it's CGI, but really there's some actual horse action there. If this was a real movie now, oh, we can't have any horses in a movie. Would have looked worse, but it's just, how weird is it to go pet somebody's horse? You know, I don't walk by somebody's Ferrari and like, oh, hey, I need to touch this. I, need, I just thought that was a little overkill, really. Anyways, Noah gets attacked by Samara. Samara comes out of the TV. Uh approaches him she's all staticky and weird shit you know like the effects in the tape and uh, basically gives him one look he's petrified he gets the curse she had seven days starvation there well how long can you live in, in a well that she may have fell down she was still alive buried alive seven days that's why you have seven days gives you those seven days all at once I guess starvation and the, the water absorbing you and waterlogged shit. I mean, it's gruesome stuff. Rachel comes across the body. He's totally freaked out. She's like, what do I do? What do you want? You know, breaks the tape. Puts in fire, and then she realizes she made a copy. Noah watches the copy. She goes and takes him to the professional VCR place. Because let's not use a basic bitch VCR. Let's make sure we have as good of a copy as possible. Touches his fingers to it. Makes him make a copy. Well, we have to show somebody, don't we? Yep, and then what's going to happen to them? The Ring. Directed by Gore Verbinski, this then allowed him to make huge movies. The three, the first three parts of Caribbean. Yeah, this is a really quite a good movie. Um, there's just a few little hang-ups here and there, but I think this is the best horror film. The scariest movie that I think gets classified as horror. Started the J-horror remake bandwagon thing we had going strong for years in the early 2000s. Um, I give the ring three and a half out of four stars. The best remake I can think of. Okay, The Wizard of Oz is kind of a remake too.